I know it sounds kind of crazy, but there are a few techniques that we're gonna be going over on today's video that actually teach you to flirt with your eyes. So there's specific ways of using eye contact that actually gets her more interested in you and in the conversation. But first, you have to understand why eye contact is so crucial when you're meeting women, whether it's a date, whether it's an approach, whatever you're doing, whenever you're meeting her, you need to be giving her great eye contact. When I say great, I mean about 95% of the time, you need to be looking right into her eyes. And the reason why eye contact is so important is because when you're connecting with someone, when you guys are engaged with each other, obviously you're gonna feel more engaged with them when you guys are looking into each other's eyes. Let's imagine I was doing a video and I'm looking over here and I'm not looking at you and I'm completely talking over here. It makes it seem like there's an audience, but either way, I'm not connected with you, the person who I'm trying to talk to. So that connection is super important. Another reason why eye contact is so crucial is because when you're giving someone good eye contact, it shows confidence. Someone who's nervous, someone who's shy, someone who's feeling uncomfortable, they're not able to look you in the eye. Okay, so here's a little test, by the way. Test out if some of your friends are a little bit shy or if they have any issues with confidence. Talk to them and see if they're looking in your eyes when you talk to them. Even when you're talking to them, see if you're looking into their eyes. A lot of people don't do it because it can be quite uncomfortable to look at someone in their eyes. Why? Because it's so powerful. So this just proves what I'm talking about, that eye contact is so powerful. And so when you can do it, it shows that you're comfortable. It shows that you're confident. It shows that you don't care what the other person thinks about you and that you're just going through the world, doing what you want to do, and you feel good about it. It can be that powerful that all that stuff can be completely suggested to a girl when you are looking at her directly in the eye. That is why eye contact is mandatory and also needs to be done, like I said earlier, about 95% of the time. Of course, it's okay to look away for a second if you're thinking about something and then coming back, like I just did, and looking you in the eye. But normally, when you're talking to her, especially when you're listening to her, you need to be looking at her in the eye. That confidence that she sees from you is gonna get her attracted and more engaged. And by the way, don't go quite yet. We still haven't gotten to the techniques that I'm gonna be sharing with you in terms of flirting with your eyes and taking it to the next level. Now there's one more thing I just wanna tell you before we get into the techniques, okay? When you're giving really good eye contact, you're showing comfortability, okay? You're showing that you're comfortable. Not only are you showing that you're comfortable with her, but she's going to assume because you're comfortable with her, that you're comfortable in general in all social situations and that you're comfortable with women. Okay, I know that sounds crazy, but this is what we assume. This is what we put together in our brain. So even if you completely fake it and go up to a girl and you're giving her great eye contact because you've been practicing it, but in general, you're still not really comfortable around women, that's all gonna go out the window. She's gonna completely assume that you are. And a guy who is comfortable with women is more attractive to another woman because she knows, wow, if he's comfortable around other women, that probably means that other women like him. And if other women like him, he is now pre-approved or pre-selected, and that makes her more attracted to you. Have I convinced you? I think I have. Lots of really powerful concepts behind eye contact, but now let's take it to that next level. I would say that there are gonna be two different facial expressions you're gonna to wanna to make when you're giving good eye contact and you're talking to a girl. So I like to separate them into two different categories. One is flirty fun, and one is flirty engaged. Okay, flirty fun and flirty engaged. So let's start with flirty fun. Flirty fun is you looking at her in the eyes, you're kind of squinting just a little bit and you have a very slight smile. So this is a very seductive way at looking at a girl, okay? But don't get confused with the words I'm saying. Still just follow the exact directions I'm gonna be giving you, but just understand it's very seductive. And when I say seductive, I don't mean that you're looking at her like this, right? This is, that's cheesy. That's like, you see that in movies or in posters or things like this. That's what I'm saying. Follow these directions, even though it's still considered seductive. Looking at her in the eyes, squinting just a little bit like I'm doing, very subtle. 
So just a little bit, and you have a smile on your face that isn't a full grin like this, it's just very slight. So I'm gonna give you this example right now. This is how it's gonna look. And you're gonna imagine that you're gonna be giving her this type of eye contact when you're listening to her, okay? It's actually both of these forms. Okay, so here it is. Ready? Watch closely. So I'm just nodding a little bit because that's showing that I'm actually listening to the person. And I have it just squinted a little bit. So a squint shows that I'm engaged with her, shows like more laser focused engagement than just like staring at her like this, right? So it's squint is like you're engaged with her. And the smile is showing slight interest. It's showing her that you're actually interested in what she's saying and that it's exciting you, okay? But again, it's all very slight. That's why this is flirty. That's what flirtation is. It's all very under the radar, covert, slight. You're not going overboard. You're just showing just a little bit of subtle interest, just like this. Okay, so that's flirty, fun. And now I wanna to get to flirty engaged, right? That next one I was talking about, where you're actually listening to her and you're doing it in a way where she's like, wow, this guy is listening to me. Now I know that was similar to the last one, but this is different because you're not gonna be smiling while she might be sharing something which is a little bit more neutral to serious, right? If she's saying something fun and interesting, you'll be doing the flirty fun smile. But if she's saying something where you're a little bit more engaged and interested and like, wow, what, you know, what's this all about? And this seems kind of dramatic or this seems like this is kind of deep, something like that. You're gonna look at her you're gonna kind of furrow your brow a little bit like this. You're not gonna be smiling. You're still gonna be squinting and you're just gonna be looking at her and your head's gonna be tilted just a little bit. Maybe your mouth is open a little bit. Maybe it's closed. And I know this sounds kind of ridiculous, right? All this, it's like, really? Do I have to be doing this? No, you don't have to really do any of this. You can just look at her in the eyes and it can be completely neutral, but I'm giving you a couple techniques at least to give you a little bit more of emotion. Like I wanna just like pound with a little bit of like human life into you so you're not staring at her like a deer in headlights. I want you to be a little bit more actually engaged with her. So hopefully this is not something that you're faking and you're just doing because I'm telling you to do it, but it's a way to tap into you being more empathetic. That empathy is all felt through your body language, meaning the eye contact that you're giving her and the exact facial expressions that I just gave you to use, right? Kind of just being engaged with it, smiling a little bit, and also just kind of being a little bit more neutral. Now, if you wanna take this to the next level and make it even more powerful, here's what you can do. You can combine you using this eye contact, which is more action-oriented, right, body language, with verbal, okay? So I've talked about this before. I'll put a link down below in the description to a video where I talk about how to be a challenge to a woman. But if we combine these two, you looking at her and being engaged body language wise, but then verbally you're showing her subtle teasing and you're kind of challenging her a little bit and you're not, you know, just giving her tons of compliments or, or just telling her how much you like her or just saying something that's gonna be so intense with your how you feel about her. If you're combining all this together, it's showing so much that it's not allowing you to remain a mystery. And now it's not so much flirting. It's just you showing a lot of interest and can not, as, not necessarily be that attractive to a woman. So what I want you to do is combine these two concepts. How can we show interest with our eyes and with our body language, and then be a challenge, right? So maybe you're talking to her, you're having a nice conversation, and you're doing the kind of a little bit more fun, flirty smile, and you're, you're listening to her, a little smile on her face. And then she says like, oh, you know, uh, last week I, I went to uh, on a vacation to Florida. And you go, whoa, what? Florida, oh, that's like the worst place to be. Why would you go there? That place is terrible. Again, just a dumb example, but the idea here is that you're being more of a challenge and you're showing her that you're not gonna be agreeing and loving every single thing that she says. So if we combine these two, it makes it a little bit more of a mystery, like wait, he's showing me interest, but he's also kind of not by saying what he just said, what's going on here. Combining these two is the power that makes you more interesting because of the mystery that you're showing.
Here's what I want you to do next. I want you to test one of these out. And if you don't feel comfortable testing one of these out, that just means that you're still trying to practice eye contact. So practice eye contact first and then get to the point where you can take one of these and practice them when you're out there talking to women. Practice makes perfect. You're not gonna get this right right away. You're not gonna be comfortable right away. And I know that it takes a long time, but it's so crucial that you do because a woman is not gonna feel connected to you unless you're looking at her in her eyes. And then, of course, to have fun with it, you practice one of these techniques that I shared today. What we've been talking about today is this concept called tension or creating sexual tension with a woman. When you're creating sexual tension, you basically create a context in which she knows that this is not you trying to be a friend, that this is you trying to be a lover. And that is really important if you wanna make sure you don't get in the friend zone. But even more important, if you wanna stay out of any sort of neutral zone, right? You don't wanna be a friend, you don't wanna be neutral. She has to know on some level that you are flirting with her. She has to understand that you're flirting with her. And trust me, she'll get it once you use, this, use the techniques that we talked about on this video. She's gonna understand it. Women are amazing at picking that up. And that's what's gonna create this tension between you two, which then spikes her emotions and creates attraction. I talk about this in my Hooked program, and I teach you how to create more tension beyond eye contact. There's a few other ways that you're gonna to wanna to do it with the way that you speak to her, a few other body language moves, and things you're gonna to do to make her feel like, wow, this guy is serious. Go to getherhooked.com and you'll find there a video that's gonna explain everything you need to know about the Hooked program and how powerful it can be. Because it's not just about tension, but a few other techniques I'm gonna be showing you that get her really invested in you. That's why I call it Hooked, because it gets her hooked on you. So this is just step one. Start with the eye contact. Start practicing this stuff. Start delving into this world of creating tension. Most guys are not doing this, and this is what's causing them not to get far with the women that they're talking to or at the worst place in the friend zone, which a lot of guys are in, right? So learn about this stuff. Get the course, getherhook.com. Link is in the description down below. Let's take you to the next level, and I'll see you on the next video.